Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a hotel booking website using Wix. For example, this is a hotel booking website that I had created earlier. So all your clients will do is tap on book a room. And from there, they can scroll down. And as you can see right here, they'll be able to choose the date that they would like to check in and check out. They can also choose how many guesses will be per room then tap on search and they'll be able to view the different rooms. So you can see here, you'll have your price and all the necessary information. Now to get started, you're first going to need to create an account on Wix.com. To create an account is quite straightforward and easy. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. So once you have created your account using your email address, I want you to tap on create new site. After you have selected create new site, you're going to tap on create on Wix editor. And from here, I want you to tap on set up without AI. After selecting set up without AI, you will be redirected to this page. And on the search bar, you're going to type in hotel for me right here. So you can see right here, you can type in hotel booking or you can simply type in hotel. So we are going to select hotel right there, then tap on next. After selecting next, you can add the name of your website or your business. So I will simply call it Jason Hotel, just for example sake, then tap on next. After you have done that, you can see the different plugins that will be added to your website. And the most important plugin is the Wix Hotels plugin as this will allow you to manage and grow your hospitality business. And you can also add the chat plugin, which will help to increase your customer service as you'll be able to respond to your website visitors. And you can also add an Instagram feed on which you'll be able to upload your different Instagram photos. And then you can scroll down if you would like to also sell items online, you could select online store. And if you would like to also write articles, you could select blog. And these are all of the features that you can add to your website. So if it is a case that you also have a restaurant, a separate restaurant on the compound or so on, or under the hotel, and you would like to add the menus, you could tap on restaurant menus and then you'll be able to set that up. We're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. Then from here, I want you to select go to dashboard. After you have selected go to dashboard, you can see that the Wix editor is preparing our dashboard in the background. Now I'm going to be showing you how to upload the different images of your hotel and also the hotel rooms. And I'll also be showing you how to set your price that you will be charging persons to book your hotel per night. So you will need to go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you're going to hover over property set up. After doing that, I want you to tap on room types. So you're going to tap right there. Once you have tapped on room types, you're going to tap on start now, complete setup for Wix hotel. Tap on start now. Then I want you to tap on agree and add. After Once it has been added, I want you to tap on go to dashboard. Now on the dashboard, you can see our hotel name and you're going to select property type. After selecting property type, you're going to tap on hotel. Then from there, you can tap on save. After selecting save, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can start setting up your hotel. So for example, you can tap on business information. So if I were to tap on let's go, you can see right here, from here I could add a photo of my business so you could add a logo right there then you can scroll down and you could add your hotel location and by adding your hotel location wix will also add a google maps that will allow customers to easily find your hotel so you can add your hotel location right there email address and phone number and fax number if you have one 
once you have done that let's go back into settings and i'll be showing you how to continue setting it up so i want to go back into these settings so i'm going to simply go over to the left hand menu option and we are going to tap on property settings after selecting property settings you'll be redirected to the same page that we were setting up earlier and i'll be showing you how to add your room so you can see right here you can also set up your cancellation and deposit policies and you can also set up the room amenities and so on by simply tapping on manage room amenities after you have done that you can add the room amenities that you offer so you can select the different amenities that you offer as you can see right here so will you be offering cable tv wireless internet and so on any one of these that you won't be offering you can simply untick it and we are going to tap on room types from the left hand menu option after you have tapped on room types you will be redirected to this page and on this page you are going to tap on create room type then from here right where you see kind of room you are going to tap right there then you can scroll down and you can select the type of room as you can see right there deluxe junior suite or deluxe king suite you can scroll down and you can see the different types of rooms so you can select whichever room is to your liking so let's say for example i want to add a deluxe junior suite room i'll tap on that then tap on next in the bottom right hand corner from here you can add a display name so let's say for example room with a view i'm going to type that in room with a view then from there you can set up the adult capacity so two adults and i'll say one child then from there you can scroll down number of rooms revenue account and i'll leave it as accommodation then tap on next and from here you can enter the base price that you will be charging so let's say a hundred dollars per room and you can set a base price for occupancy if you want so you can see for each guest you could charge that then you can also set a price calculation which you can do right there and we're going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner from here you can set up the amenities that will be added for your suite so let's say for example beach view and then from there you can simply add the other features the other amenities as you can see right here then tap on next in the bottom right hand corner after you have done that you can upload some photos of the room by tapping on add photo then you'll tap on manage then you'll tap on upload media better yet in the top left hand corner and from there you'll be able to upload an image from your device so let's say for example i would like to use one of the copyright free images from wix i could simply type in hotel room and let's use this image tap on it then select add to page you can see that the image has now been added and you can add numerous images if you want once you're finished you're going to tap on complete setup in the bottom right hand corner then from there you can select start selling this room then you're going to select the start date so let's say for example i would like this room to be available from the 9th of january and then i'll tap right here and i can select let's say for example it will be available for the next three months then you'll tap on save after you have selected save you can see that it is saving the settings right there you'll tap on save once more and you can also edit the amenities if you want on the right hand column right here you could add more amenities if you would like to add more amenities once you are finished doing that you can simply go over to the left hand menu option and from there you can set up rate plans if you want extras and so on if you would like to add a promotional code you can also do that and here where you see property management you can hover over that and from there you'll be able to view your reservations and you can also use the wix platform to do email marketing so let's say for example when a client books a room you can set it up 
so that emails are automatically sent to the, to the customer so they know when their transaction goes through and you can also send a reminder of when they will be coming to the room when they'll be coming when their booking is ready and so on once you're finished doing all of this you'll now need to set up your billing and payments so you're going to hover over billing and payments and you're going to select payments by doing this you'll be able to offer your customers numerous payment options so you're going to tap on manage payment methods after selecting manage payment methods you'll be redirected to this page and you can see at the moment my website location is set at jamaica and i'll be offering telepay and paypal but if you'd like to offer even more option all you'll need to do is simply change the location then for example i could type in united states so if i were to type in united states and select it right there then tap on choose you can see that i can now accept more payment options for example i can now offer visa mastercard american express google pay apple pay affirm and so on and i can still connect my paypal account so you can see right there all you'll need to do is tap on change your business location and you'll be able to offer more payment options so once you're finished doing that you're going to tap on set up in the top left hand corner after selecting setup i want you to tap on design site in the top right hand corner then you're going to select pick a template by selecting pick a template you will be provided with numerous hotel themes that you can use and this is one of the major standout features when it comes on to Wix. As with this template, you'll be easy to customize and create a stunning website, even if you're a complete beginner. So let's say, for example, I would like to use this one. I better hit this one. All I'll need to do is tap on edit. After you have selected edit, you're going to give it a few seconds while Wix composes your website in the background. Once on this page, all I want you to do now, you can tap on the X right here to close the pop-up. But if it is a case that you would like the Wix AI to add some content to your website, you could type in some information in the box right here and then tap on generate site text and it will add content. But at the moment, this is how our website looks. I want you to tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. Then from here we can start editing our website. So if it is a case that you would like to change the background image, you can do that by simply hovering over the section, then selecting quick edit. After you have selected quick edit, what I want you to do next, you can see right here section background, you could tap on that. And then from there you could select image. After you have selected image, you are going to see a pop-up window appear and you could select upload media and you could upload your own image. You can also add an image to this section also if you want by simply tapping on the section. And by the way, it is the same to change text. So you can change the text quite easily by simply hovering over a particular section. And if it is a case that you don't see something that you would like to add to your website, you could go over to the top left hand corner tap on add elements and from there you can simply drag and place the element that you would like to add whether it is a text an image a button anything at all you can quickly add it to your website and to view and edit all pages on your website you are going to need to tap on home in the top left hand corner then from here you can see the different pages so let's say for example we were to select the book a room page this is it at the moment and you can scroll down so you can see how it looks so you can see them right here so this is how it looks at the moment you can see you can set it up by simply hovering over the section so let's say for example remember we had set the date to start from january 9th so that is why it says no room is available at this time so you can change the date right there after you're finished, you'll simply tap on save to save the changes. And that's basically it. 
and you can tap on publish afterward and your website will now be live for example if i were to tap on preview you can see how it looks right there as we have a video in the background and if we were to go onto the home page you can see the video plays in the background right there automatically and that's it thank you for watching this tutorial if you found it helpful and informative be sure to let me know in the comment section.